gonna show you all around this island. Let's do it. That's right, Island Hoppers. We've got 22 things to show you around St. Martin. We're gonna go out to some other islands like Anguilla and St. Bart as well, since both of those are 30 minutes away by ferry. This here is Bell's Lookout, as you can see. Now over here you have the Caribbean and inland you have the lagoon. So down here you have where the airport is, Maho Bay and all that. This is on the south side of the island, which means it's actually in the Dutch part of the actual island. Down there you can see the Simpson Bay Lagoon. It's located at Cole Hill and on a clear day from here you can see Saba, St. Kitts and Nevis and it really is a great viewpoint. The statue you'll see here is William Henry Bell. He was the second of seven children in the Bell family and they actually purchased the Cape Bay estate. Now here we are in Phillipsburg. Phillipsburg is likely where many of you who are arriving by cruise ship will be arriving. It is the capital of the Dutch St. Martin side and it's actually loaded with beachfront bars, a boardwalk with a great bay view. You also have Front Street, many different duty-free shops, and there's several casinos here in Phillipsburg. Also, there's the ruins for the 17th century Fort Amsterdam and an indigenous museum for the Arawak people. Now here we are at Maho Bay. This is the world famous crazy airport landing and takeoff. So people like to come hang out, swim, and then wait for the jumbo jets or the Cessnas, the Lear jets to all fly in. People come here and take pictures. About once or twice a day, a jumbo jet arrives from Air France or KLM. You can see those now. There are bars and restaurants on either side where you can actually sit down and watch the planes come in. I was here for breakfast. There was no jumbo jets. It was mostly just island hoppers coming in from other islands, the smaller planes. But if you wanted the big ones, those are going to come in around one, two, or three o'clock in the afternoon. And an equally crazy experience is actually when the planes take off, the jet blast blows everything on the beach, especially the bigger the jet, the more crazy they are experienced, but there is some danger involved. Next up is ATV tours. You can get a guided ATV tour around the island, or you can just rent an all-terrain vehicle and go around solo with you and your friends. Now here we are at Orient Bay. This is actually on the French side of the island. They have lots of water activities, sports in this turquoise water. It faces towards the east side of the Caribbean. This is the more laid back, relaxing place to get a hotel with restaurants and convenience nearby. Now let's talk about some of these water sports. So they have windsurfing, parasailing, jet skis, they also have stand-up paddle boards, lots of water sport activities on St. Martin, especially at Orient Bay. And it's not just water sports that people like to do when they come out here. You can also do some deep sea fishing because fishing here on the island is very famous. Now here we are in Marigat, which is actually the capital of the French collectivity of St. Martin. So it was originally a fishing village. Now it's a place you can find Old Fort St. Louis, which we'll show you in a minute. They also have the main plaza, historic Rue de la Concordia, and then you can also catch ferry boats from here. So it's a really important part of French St. Martin. Also, I found it to be a great place to walk around and pick up souvenirs here, supporting the local artists and the vendors. So this is one of the most popular actual markets. And as we continue to show you around St. Martin, I wanna let you guys know that we are island hopping across the Caribbean here in the Antilles. So expect more videos. If you're looking for that kind of information, we're definitely gonna show you St. Kitts, Anguilla, St. Bart's. So stick around for that and subscribe to the channel. Now here we are at Mullet Bay. Now Mullet Bay might not be as famous as Maho Beach or Maho Bay because it doesn't have the airport. But in my opinion, the beach is actually better than Maho Bay for swimming, relaxing. So if you're looking for the ultimate relaxing beach on this island, this is probably where you're gonna wanna go. And when it comes to local food, you can of course get some steaks with some potatoes. It's gonna be like a little bit French or Dutch style. Then you have bang bang shrimp wrap, which was delicious. I also got some calamari. Do expect plenty of seafood while here. Lobster's famous. I also went out for a nice sushi dinner. So they have a variety of different modern international cuisines here on St. Martin. So do expect lots of delicious food. They also have plenty of casinos here. I think there's around 17 on island in total. 
And when it comes to the nightlife, I found the area around Maho Bay to probably be some of my favorite nightlife, but there's plenty of nightlife spots all across this island. In fact, it's one of the most nightlife friendly islands you'll find anywhere in the Caribbean. Simpson Bay is another area that's gonna have a lot of nightlife activities. And if you were to say which side has better nightlife, most people would say it's gonna be the Dutch side over the French side. And just as a friendly reminder, there are timestamps below. So if you wanna jump around from location to location or check each location for your itinerary, I'll put a link to all that down below in the description. Also, if you're just coming in for one day and you want to get a really good bang for your buck check out island sightseeing hop on hop off bus for around forty dollars per person next up taking the ferry to anguilla they have two different ferries one from marigot and one from the airport the one from the airport is actually a high speed ferry now like i said there are two different ferries if you take the one from marigot it's thirty dollars for adults and twenty dollars for children now that's a one-way ticket and it takes around 25 minutes if you take the ferry from the airport to Anguilla, it's about $70 each way and it takes around 25 minutes as well. I would highly recommend going over to Anguilla. I found there to have some of the best beaches I've ever seen. On one island, you can easily do a day trip and rent a car. And now here we are at Fort St. Louis, which also serves as a very nice lookout point and a historical place that's free. The fort was built in the 18th century to defend Marigot's Harbor and its warehouses and it was built during the reign of King Louis. And aside from being an interesting historical landmark here, you'll also get great views looking out towards the French side, even towards Anguilla on a clear day. There's also some very interesting creatures that live here, like these iguanas that you'll see kind of roaming around. They're a bit photogenic and not too intimidated by you getting close for a picture. And there's actually some interesting history about how the French and the Dutch were colonizing this island and developing these forts to protect themselves as they had an interest in the New World. So if you wanted to explore some of that history, I would suggest it because it is quite interesting and knowing about it before you get here will really give you some good background on the island. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to drive out towards the rainforest area the more lush and green part of St. Martin here. And as you can see, I actually rented a car while I was on the island. It's a great cost efficient way to get around. But on the way, check out this size of this iguana. Man, that was huge. And this is gonna be the lottery farm. Here they have zip lining adventures. They also have hikes. They have a big pool that people like to go to. It's like a beach club. They have a couple different restaurants that you can relax at. So this is a little bit different vibe than you're gonna find on the beach, being that it's tucked away in the rainforest a bit. There isn't an entry fee to get into Lottery Farm, but if you wanted to use the pool or some of its amenities or even go to the restaurant, obviously you'll pay as you go, depending on what you choose to do, even if you choose to go zip lining. Now, as I mentioned, hiking is something you can do. You can do it here at Lottery Farm, or you can go up to one of the many different lookout points that have trails and hikes all across this island. So if you're looking for a good cardiovascular exercise going up mountains, you're gonna find that here in St. Martin. Now, the thing about hiking can get interesting, especially in the rainforest, because later in the afternoon, you can expect possibility of showers or rain. So do check the forecast. Now, as I did mention, renting a car can be a great thing. I'll explain why. Because number one, the price is around 60 to $80 a day, and that includes insurance. You pay a little bit of gas, but gas on an island isn't gonna cost you that much because you're not gonna be driving that much to use a lot of gas. But you can see so much more, especially the off the beaten trail kind of stuff, because there's so many different roads. St. Martin is quite developed. Now here I am at the Rotary Lookout, which is a nice bay area to snorkel and hang out, relax. Rotary Bay faces right out towards the eastern part of the island into the Caribbean, so expect to see a little bit more laid back vibe and do a little bit of hiking. Some people like to swim and relax at this beach here, but for me, it's just a pit stop along the east side of the island to get a little bit of exercise, stretch the legs, and get a nice view. 
I did see people walking quite far out there in waist deep water or even knee high water at times, also doing some snorkeling. It seemed like some guy was finding lots of shellfish. So if you look at the top there, they have the Island Rainforest Adventures. It's like a zip line or a cable car that goes all the way down from the top of that mountain. It's closed right now, but if you guys wanted to check it out, it's called Island Zip Line or Island Tropical Adventures. Now, for those of you who love sunsets, you're definitely gonna get that in places like Mullet Bay or Maho Bay. That's gonna be on the west side of the island. I would suggest aiming for the Dutch side. This hotel right here was at Maho Bay. It's called La Plage, the Islander, if you wanted to get this exact same view. I also stayed at the Hilton Vacation Club in Simpson Bay, and I would say this was a better option because it was half the price and the room was about the same. So Hilton Vacation Club, nice location, nice hotel, but quite expensive compared to something like this. And here we go to St. Bart's on the ferry. Now St. Bart's was a bit more expensive than Anguilla overall, just staying there, finding a hotel, which I did stay a couple nights. Uh, some people just do a day trip. They just rent the car from the airport over there and then they just go around the island and come back in the same day. Depending on where you leave out of, if it's Marigot or if it's Phillipsburg, the price will vary. I, I paid about $70 each way. So overall, St. Bart's is definitely more ritzy. It's probably my favorite island I've been to in the Caribbean so far, to be honest. We do have a full St. Bart's travel guide coming soon, so do be on the lookout for that if you're interested. Also, Anguilla. And I highly recommend subscribing to our channel here. This is like the only beach I've found on St. Martin where there's nobody. So if you're looking for a beach out here, go where it says Tinta Marie, and you'll find it. It's right next to the uh, Isla Pinta. So, as you may or may not know, it's uh, two territories by two different countries in one island. So in the north, where I'm at right now actually, is the French side, Saint Martin. And the south side, where I'm staying at my hotel, is Saint Martin, which is Dutch, from the Netherlands. So, very interesting, I've never seen an island that has that kind of dynamic before. Yeah, this area here is the Marina Fort Lewis. This is one of the places you would go to get the ferry to Anguilla. It's like this lagoon right here, very nice. Okay, now let's talk about the people here in St. Martin. Uh, it is a very friendly island. That's why they call it the Friendly Island. Between Anguilla and here, I'm always having great conversations with everybody that I bump into, especially the locals. I don't really talk to many tourists, but the locals, super friendly, and yeah, <laughs> you're gonna love it. Now let's talk about transportation here on the island. I have a rental car, uh, because most of the time when I go to the Caribbean islands, I've realized that you want a rental car. Look at these views, by the way, from the Fort St. Louis. Really nice, especially looking towards the south towards the west but yeah you want a rental car you can take the island sightseeing tour which is also very good but with that you're limited um, taxis can be expensive but those are the main ways to get around once you're on the island and going from uh, St. Martin to Anguilla by ferry you have a small airport on Anguilla but not easy to uh, fly out of there because it's small then into St. Bart's by ferry. So inner island stuff by ferries. There you go. Now let's talk about the weather here in St. Martin. Obviously it's a Caribbean country, so hurricane season starts around July, ends around November, December. Uh, when it's not hurricane season, I am here right now in Fe late February, early March, and I have seen some rainy evenings. It does appear to get rainy in the evenings this time of year, but it just kind of hovers around, drizzles a little bit, and then leaves, nothing too crazy. But uh, most of the time, it's hot. So definitely dress accordingly. I like to wear these long sleeve uh, UV resistant shirts, maybe a hat, uh, definitely bring some flip flops and uh, board shorts. I would say here, 
you're going to want to wear bathing suits a lot because there's so many different beaches that you may want to go swimming in or beaches that you want to walk around. It's easier to walk around in flip-flops than it is to walk around in shoes on the beach. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Island Hopper TV. You can also watch St. Bart's and St. Kitts and Nevis next.